is Villas off the Arabian Sea. This is off the Arabian Sea. This is where the big ballers stay at. The one with that long paper. Hey, I'm talking about the Arab money. Shout out to Buster Rhymes, man. But we really in the presence of the Arab money. They really get that bread out here. This is the oil money, man. So y'all see how they live with the villas and stuff like that? With the beautiful mountains, man. This place is unbelievable, man. Oh my God, this is unbelievable, man. Amazing. And for y'all don't know about Oman, many say the, uh, the tomb of Job is here. Hopefully I get down there. But if I don't get down there this trip, I'll be back. I, I'll show y'all that. And also, we're not too far from the, uh, the birthplace of the, uh, Bathsheba, which is in Yemen. That's probably a few hours south of here. But hey, I got to give a special shout out to Sky High Entertainment out there in Houston and my boy Vito, man. I told you, Vito, I was going to take Sky High Entertainment all the way around, all the way around the world for you, man. So I'm doing this for you, man. Shout out to H Town. I love you, Houston. Cooking soul. This is one of the biggest mosques in the Middle East and maybe the world, uh, outside of uh, Mecca, probably in Saudi Arabia. So this is my first time I've ever been to mosque. Usually you're not allowed to go in a mosque unless you're Muslim, but I guess since it's so spectacular, uh, they give me the opportunity to go in here and check it out. Uh, this is my first mosque I've ever been into, because in most cases, if you're not Muslim, you're not allowed to come in here. And this whole floor right here is marble. It's all marble floor, shipped in from Italy. So this is very spectacular. I've never seen anything like this in my life. This is an amazing experience. I appreciate my friend Wright from here, Muscat Oman, for taking me around and giving me the opportunity to come in here. So tell them quickly a little bit about this beautiful mosque. All right. This mosque, as you know, it takes, I told you last time, it takes 750 women to pray at the prayer room, okay? And for the men, it takes eight, 8,000 men can pray at the men's prayer room, but the whole mosque take 20,000 people can pray on it. So as you see, I told you this tile is made from Italy and it doesn't get heat from the sun. While we... Now, yeah. as you see, we are standing on the tile right now. I'm, I'm tripped so, out right now because it's extremely hot here. It's almost December. It's like 90, 100 degrees here and it's cool. It's like I'm on ice right now. <laughs> you know, we have to take our uh, shoes off because we're on holy ground. So this is amazing, man. I thank you again, man. I appreciate this footage because a lot of, in most cases, you won't never get this footage. So I had to bring it to y'all. You're around the world with Jan and Nash, and you never know what you might see. This room right here alone is billions and billions of dollars. I'm very grateful, especially being a black American, to have the opportunity to be on the other side of the world and be inside of a building with chandeliers that's gold and diamonds. Hey, them rappers ain't bling blinging. They, this is bling bling, and this is real. This ain't no fake or phony stuff, man. <laughs> Eight tons. Eight tons for that big chandelier up there, man. Golden, I can't, golden, how do you have a golden diamond chandelier? I, I can't even say nothing. I'm, I'm, I'm dumbfounded right now. So I holler at y'all, man. I can feel it. ever. 
Right now, we standing at the gateway to eternal life, man. <laughs> no, I'm just being silly, man. This scenery is so beautiful. It look like the gateway to eternal life right there. It look like if you just keep going on that beautiful water with all them palm trees in between these mountains, you're going to see Jesus. <laughs> but, man, I'm telling you, world, it's very, it's very important that you see the world and really see what's out there and don't believe what the media says man they just say over in this parts of the world they bombed and all type of foolishness i haven't had any problems it's, it's so it's extremely beautiful over here one of my best trips and i i will come back so hey world you gotta get it man you around the world with jay international aka the face of travel hey get that passport stamp until the next trip i'm gone <laughs>